Marv Rosenab coming at you with my first camera review on the Nikon Coolpix B500. This is my main filming camera, and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it. The Nikon Coolpix B500 is part of the Coolpix line of cameras from Nikon. These are super zoom cameras. This is kind of a mix of a point and shoot, DSLR, and zoom. It's it's a camera. It has a fixed lens, and this lens has a lot of zoom in it. I'm not kidding. This has a 40x optical zoom. I don't know what that calculates to, but trust me, it is probably more zoom than you actually need. It is good for shooting, like, nature stuff or, you know, sports if you want to be far away from something or just far away from your subject, you know. It's just good for doing that. And this has been my main filming camera for a month or two now on my YouTube channel. I've been using this camera and the quality is wow. Just wow. The quality of this camera is amazing. I love it. And like it doesn't have a microphone port, but it has fairly good audio. And I am looking for a way that I could use an adapter to put a mic on this thing, and that should work, hopefully. This is not your average, you know, YouTube filming camera at all, but this is, in my opinion, the best beginner YouTube channel filming camera, or just camera in general. Um, it has a tilting LCD screen, you know, so if you're shooting up high like this, or if you're shooting super down low like this, you know, it tilts like that. Um, what really sucks is it doesn't have the screen so it flips out selfie so you can see yourself when you're filming but you kind of get a feel with it by just looking at the lens you kind of just get a feel of what is in frame after you've been using it for a while another great feature about this is it has Wi-Fi so if you just download the Nikon Snapbridge app you can transfer all of your media from the camera to your phone if you want to edit on your phone Another great thing is this dial on the top, is it gives you a couple different modes. I like to keep mine on auto, but in the menus, I play with the white balance, and, you know, then that will um, affect your video. And on video, I keep mine at the highest that it can shoot. It can shoot at 1080 at 30 frames per second, and then it has wind noise reduction, on the microphone I like to keep that off because I feel like when I have it on it kind of muffles the mic it has two ways of zooming in you have this dial on the top and then you have this on the side of the lens and then, then kind of like a reframing button so like if it's getting out of focus then you can focus it back in the zoom is insane it is stalker level like if you want to see somebody you want to see your neighbor you just take this camera you zoom in and you probably shouldn't do that. It has an onboard flash, so you just hit this button on the side and then the flash pops up. And it gives you an option to look at your photos or, you know, playback video. I don't take photos on this camera because, like I said, I'm a YouTuber, as you can tell. And I shoot video on this camera. The record button is placed, like, almost on top of the camera, but on the back of it. And, you know, it's really easy to press you can press it and then turn the camera or you know you can hold it like this and press it but you kind of get the, your work away around the camera you know where all the buttons are so you don't really have to look you can just boom hit the button you know you're recording one last feature that it has is it runs off double a batteries that is super convenient you're either gonna really love that it runs off double a batteries or you're either gonna really hate it I really like it because it's super convenient and basically everywhere that you go you're going to be able to get your hands on some batteries. My initial review of this is it is a great camera. By far, in my opinion, the best beginner YouTube camera. If you're looking for something that is cheap and you know is not a lot of money, it retails from price range is from $200 to $300. So it's not expensive to a lot of other cameras. If I was Nikon and I made this camera, I would make the price higher. 
because the quality on this camera is just amazing. Ever since vlog 6, I think it was, I have been shooting on this camera most of the time, and I am in love with it. This is a great camera. If I had to rate it 10 being the best, 0 being totally the worst, I would give this a 7.5. It's really good, you know, but like I said, it doesn't have the selfie, and sometimes, you know, the mic is not very good, and it doesn't have a mic port. But hey, it's just the small things. The camera is really great. I really love this camera. I highly suggest it. There will be a link in the description for this camera on Amazon.com. So you can just go down there, buy it, and get yourself started at YouTube. Um, it is fairly simple. It's not anything crazy. But there you go. I really like this camera, guys. And you should definitely buy it. It is totally worth your money. But there you go, guys. That is my initial review of this camera. I'm going to continue to use it until I decide that it's time for an upgrade. But right now, I'm totally happy with using this camera. And I'm in love with it. Um, like I said, there's a link down below to buy this camera. Totally do it. Guys, go down in the description. You know buy this camera subscribe to my channel for vlogs skateboarding and just a bunch of other fun stuff that hopefully you are interested in um if you guys want to see more videos like this comment down below and uh i will see you guys in the next one like comment subscribe see you dudes <laughs>